Hey folks, this is Maria Rue. Welcome to my channel. I invite you to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you enjoy the content, please remember to hit like and feel free to share. So folks, we are continuing with the questions that have been posted by our subscribers. This question asks, minimum amount needed to invest in real estate in the DR. Can I invest in real estate with 200,000? This says RD, 200,000 pesos. Okay, 200,000 pesos may be considered too low of an amount to, to, to be classified or categorized as an investment, okay? Um, even though um, an investment is no longer considered the 200,000, meaning for if you want to apply for investment residency, yes, you do have to invest the 200,000, but for those who want temporary residency in the country, they're not quite aspiring to investment residency, you know, they could, any, they could buy a property uh, that's, that could be, you know, $30,000, $20,000, $25,000, and that can be considered an investment toward temporary residency. But $200,000 Dominican pesos is a bit low. In fact, I want to clear something up for you. For those aspiring for temporary residency, one of the ways that they can prove solvency, because when you apply for residency, the, the government wants to know that, you're a, that you have solvency, that you're not going to be a load on the Dominican state. So they wanna see what assets you have. Now you can either present the title to a property, title to a vehicle, or a bank account with a minimum of 300,000 in per individual, 500,000 for family members. Now, 300,000 is about, check this out. The current, it's about $6,000 at the current rate. Goodness, I should know this, but you know, older you get. Yeah, 5,660. So that's the minimum to show solvency for temporary residency. So yeah, 200,000 um, Dominican pesos is not gonna get it, unfortunately, okay? Um, but here again, uh, if you have a 300,000 in an account, or if you, if you buy a lot for 300,000, and that's the mi minimum that they expect for temporary residency, then that's a different story, okay? I hope the information was helpful and I will see you next time.